All right, so we have Katana for Sub-Zero, okay. Looks like we have the Highborn variation coming out. It's definitely going to be some cool stuff here. I think that variation is very underrated. It has a lot of cool tools. I feel a chill in here. Try warmer clothing, princess. I would rather remove the chill. <laughs> Try warmer clothing. Oh, man. This guy. Yo, Tevin, what's up? Nuke, what's up? Not much. Getting these matches in. Hopefully we'll have some uh, Nightwolf. I hear Cherny's actually rocking some Nightwolf, so... He probably will have that a little bit later on in the stream. I'm sure there will be other people at least bringing him out for one match here and there. We'll see. Good Ice Ball connects. Spending that meter. Good corner position. Not the spot you want to be in against Sub-Zero. The respect, though. Holding that block button. Nice grab. Usual jump. Oh, the ice ball connects. Uses the meter burn, too, to ensure that it connects. Look at what? What? Did this guy know? Was that? Did he know that he was going to grab and went for the short hop to punish? I don't know, man. That was too slick. There we go. Eating up that fan. Ooh, spending it right there. Crushing below city. Ooh, nice walk back. Wow, the ice ball connects. Yeah, this is, this is a really tough spot to be in against Sub. Uh, there we go. Cameo working his way out. Those blocks here. Very patient. Oh, but the whiff punish. Cracking him down. Oh, wow. Tries to go for the forward forward. No dice. Overhead. No, sir. Gets the grab, and that's going to be it. And it's zombie is going to go up one nothing. Yo, Slay, what's up, man? Uh, Nuke, thank you so much for the subscription for two months. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, the same one. Wrath, what's up? Yeah, Slay, we could definitely do that. Right now, my audio is, again, hooked up the opposite way. You got to let me know if you're going to make it beforehand, and then I'll definitely have you on. I just have to run my audio through differently. Oh, man, that cross-up jump is so clutch. You get to switch sides in corner position. You can see Cameo in the same spot as last time, but able to work his way out of the corner. Doing a lot better this time. Oh, just hits before that sigh comes down. He thought he was going to rain a sigh of relief, right? <laughs> right? But it didn't come out because he got hit. <laughs> Oh, the back one. Such far range. That's a joke Slay can appreciate, I'm sure. <laughs> Ooh, the whiff punish? No, no dice. Yeah, missed that punish. That was big, you're right. Missed the grab. Ooh, whiff grab. Man, the whiff punishes have been really good here for its zombie. The spacing has been good. Staggers into the overhead. Gonna get full combo here. Nope, still going with mix-ups. Keeping Cameo standard. Standard stood up in a standing state. <laughs> Woo! Good call. Eats the fireball. All right, here we go. Wow, the neutral jump. What a call. And just commits to it. Commits to the full string. Going into the special and everything on block. Betting it all. Zombie looking good. Going up to nothing. A light heart lives long. But a cold heart feels no pain. Are you certain of that? Yeah, he's got the, the retro skin. I like it. I still haven't downloaded my retro pack. Do have Nightwolf, though. Yo, the walk down? The walk down is extra epic. Ooh, 
All right, staggers into the grab. Zombie's been known. Oh, nice punish. Oh, nice poke. Nope, not going to get it. You have the double pokes, though. There we go. That's a good confirm. Staggers into the overhead. Good blocks. Oh, no punish. That's going to hurt. Oh, whiffs to grab. Man, a lot of damage left on the table missing that punish. You got to make sure you punish those Sub-Zero Ice Balls. If you see that Z-Hat come out again, I think Ice Ball is going to come his way. He's waiting on it. The patient play by Zombie is really good. That's one of the issues that I noticed when playing Kung Lao. When you go from like a crouching state into forward one, which is like one of his better uh, you know, forward advancing mids, oftentimes you get the spin. It's kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure that was an input error. Z-Hat, baby. Uh, C Duel, thank you so much. I will. I'll keep up the good work. Thank you for watching. I'm glad that the videos have been informative. Plus frames into the grab. Okay, there we go. Cameo doing his thing. Final round. Fight. Oh man, coming in hot with that forward four. Now if he does block that, he is plus, so. Oh, no, no crushing blow on it. Okay. Stagger game is real. Confirms into it. Forcing a breakaway. Okay, here we go. Oh, drops it. Plus frames. Oh, he's going to connect. Going to connect here. Oh, drops it again. Oh, the grab. That's going to be it. It's going to be close. Oh, wow. Off with your head. What a brutal. That was nasty. Yeah, I've never seen that brutal either. I don't know if that's new or maybe it's like uh, hidden brutality. I'm not sure. I've never seen it. I would imagine that I've gotten, you know, I've lost a fight by a hat. So, I don't know. That's like the old school, like, what was it? Hold high punch, like back, back, forward, release, and you would slice their head off in Mortal Kombat 2 with the hat, if I remember correctly. Pay attention. You might learn something. I'm the drill instructor here. But I'm the legend. Round one, fight. Hey, Devil's Games, no problem. Anytime you have some uh, free time is good for me, man. Thanks for coming in. I understand life. It gets you. <laughs> There's real life vortexes. All right, the patient play is uh, pretty awesome here. The delay on it, wow. You see Zombie playing a, a very patient game. And Cameo not trying to push the issue. Jumping a little bit, but really trying to walk down here. Ooh, no punish on that. Oh, wow. Just stand-up buttons. Yo, where's this at? He loves, he loves his stand-up buttons. All right, stagger into the grab. Kung Lao's been known. Wow, right over her head. So crazy. Flawless Black City. Ooh, pokes. Oh, that's going to be a punish. This is going to be it. Oh, man. Seven seconds on the clock, too. What a long round. Patient play on both ends. Whoop. Getting that meter burn there at the end. Look at Johnny in the back flexing. 
See you back there. Oh man, that dive kick. Whip punish? No. Not able to get the whip punish. So low connects. Forcing a breakaway. Oh, nice grab. Now the corner position here for Cassie's looking pretty swell. Zombie really enforcing his offense here. Oh, nice challenge. Oh, not going to get it, but oh, that's it. That's going to be it. Fatals? We got Fatals? Yes, we do. Awesome. Alright, we got Johnny versus Gearus. I hear that Gearus actually um, struggles a little bit in this matchup. That's the word on the street. I don't really know if I can see Gearus struggling in any matchup, but that's just me. I don't know. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Time to die. <laughs> Gearus, man, he is brutal. He is straight savage. That's one of the things that I really like about Gearus. I love his personality. Ooh, tries to get the grab, doesn't get it. Oh, whiffs the grab. The down two is going to connect here. We're going to get some pretty good damage. Oh man, close to 45% here. Destin for Fate trying to get that space. You see him, he's trying to backdash out. Doesn't want to fight Johnny up close, it looks like. That low just clips him. Yo, he went for it, he knew. Oh, what a call out. The down two connects. Oh, doesn't connect the full combo though. He's going to get hit with the crushing blow. Or I should say the fatal blow. Yeah, that drop was definitely uh, a situation there where Tebo could have really probably won the round there if he didn't drop that combo. He's going to get a nice punish here. Going to go into the launch. Oh, man, that low. It's so good. It hits from so far away. Jump in. Oh, no conversion off of it. Oh my god, that up two. It's so fast. That up two for Gearus is like, you can sometimes try to mediate and it just busts right through, man. <laughs> oh, no punish. Oh, he missed it. Missed the punish. That would have been it. I would have been around for Tevo, but he got it anyway. Neutral jump. Has corner position. He's looking good. Rico, what's up? Here we go. And the grab. This is a really, really tough spot to be in against Johnny. It's like, it makes it really tough to get out of anything. Up two, though? Can you get knocked down? Just up two. Why not, right? <laughs> it's like, it's not invincible, but it might as well be. Oh, nice anti here. That was smooth. And that's it. Tebo looking good. Taking that first match. Going up 1-0. So what are you guys thinking about Nightwolf so far? Are you digging him? I'm kind of liking him. I think he plays pretty cool. I mean, obviously, he hasn't even been out 24 hours. But I think uh, he's an interesting character. I only got to take a look at the first variation. So we'll see. We'll see what the other variation brings to the table. I still haven't explored it yet. Haven't had time, but I'm definitely excited to. And the up two just connects from downtown. Forcing the breakaway. 
Yeah, up two is just... It's insane. It's crazy. On Gears 5? I can't wait to play Gears 5. I played, like, the, uh, the beta for Gears 5, and I enjoyed it. It seemed like it was a lot... Like, the, the far-range shooting was a lot more effective in Gears 5 than it is in 4. In 4... I think every Gears game is all about the shotgun, which I love. I love the shotgun, but um, I think that the game, uh, you excelled when you worked as a team and used your long-range shooting much more. Yo, Tevo is, uh, is doing some things here. See if Destin for Fate can turn things around here. Get in the grab clothesline of death. Uh, zombie now is just one match. So it's like one exhibition match. Exhibition match. <laughs> oh man, he went for it too. Oh wow, the flawless block? Doesn't get a punish on it though. These guys are just trading turns back and forth. Oh, there we go. Just gets the combo, gets the opening. Gonna use the breakaway to get out and a grab. Destin for fate in control. He backs up though. Oh, the Superman doesn't get it. The splash dive. Oh man, there we go. It's Hebo. Taking a match. Going up two to nothing. So I want to thank all you guys for coming out to the stream. We do have a bunch of matches still for tonight. Hope everybody's having a good evening. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to click that follow button so you get updated whenever I go live here on the channel. So Tevo right now is one match away from taking this set. Destined for Fate changes things up going with Kano. Yeah, Ripper. We got Ripper. It's in here. Very uh, high risk, medium reward. Oh god, cracking your dome piece. Man, off to a crazy start here. Destined for fate. Coming out like a whirlwind. <laughs> Just melting that health bar. And grab, he's gonna toss him. Yeah, that's it. I thought he was going to toss him to the other side, but I guess not. That's like the ultimate mind games. Like he's going to throw me into the corner. He thinks that I'm going to throw him into the corner, so I'm not going to throw him in the corner. He's going to tech the wrong way. That's how sometimes you think about those things. It's that next, next level mind games. All right, Tebow up to a better start here, forcing the breakaway early. So right now, Destined for Fate with no defensive meter in the corner. And that's a really bad spot to be in against Johnny Cage. And this is going to be close here. That's it. Quick. Tebo showing some versatility here. Able to just turn the page after getting wiped the round before. Spending it. Oh, tries to get that low scoop, but the breakaway is going to work out for him. Nice grab. Oh, wow. Pokes after. Steals that turn back. Oh, wow. A lot of whiffing going on there. Maybe he wasn't on the ground just yet. Oh, well, very good. Good grab. Destined for phase. He's, he's going for it. He's going for that low. Trying to go underneath the projectile. Roll underneath. That low hitbox. That's a throw punish. And that is going to be close to it. He blocks the fatal blow. And that's it. Good patience there by Teva. Not over committing. Just waiting. Being patient. Good stuff. Destin for Fate really put in some work there, too, that match. That was good. Good stuff. Good games, guys.
All right, the best there is. Probably going to rock with Liu Kang. Liu Kang. He is. Liu Kang. Uh, King Boogeyman. I don't know who he's going to use. I haven't seen him yet on the spotlight. Liu Kang. He's going with Collector. Okay. We have the newly buffed Collector, who is a much better version of his former self. A lot more damage. Uh, able to extend strings on block and whiff that he couldn't previously. Um, he's just he's just a lot better of a character. Uh, we'll see what King Boogeyman is able to do here with this guy. And the best there is, Rockham with Liu Kang. One of the best Liu Kangs that I've played against. So we're going to see how each of these guys holds up in this battle. My master was Boraicho. That lazy drunk trained you. Ha! Drunk, yes, but not lazy. Round one, fight. There we go. All right, Collector getting in here. Team Boogeyman doing work. At 319 damage. Oh, it's gonna hurt. He's gonna keep him re oh, gonna knock him down, spend him both bars. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. Yes, it is. Yes, there is. Doesn't miss those. You give him those punishes, he's gonna take them every time. Again, he's gonna get it. Keeping him standing. Staggers. Oh, nice poke. And the flying kick. Gonna seal it. Round two. Fight. Oh. <laughs> Stagger game. Nice poke. Oh, King Boogeyman going into these teleports. Probably not the best bet. Looks like he's uh, putting himself in a bad situation, but that wake-up roll was excellent. And he's going to launch him here. Oh, misses it, and that's a punish. Staggers. Oh, the overhead clips him. <laughs> Yo. Flying kick. Oh, nice tech by King Boogeyman. Oh, teleporting again. Putting himself in a bad spot. Wow. Cartwheel kick. Off with your head. This is why I am champion. And the best there is. Going up one nothing. Playing that neutral. Going in and out of different areas. Oh, wow. Changing things up. Going to Jackie. So, completely different character. So, throw every everything that I just analyzed out the window. Because that no longer is relevant. So we're going to see Jackie Briggs here. Now Jackie Briggs uh, is a character that does hit pretty hard. And she's able to challenge Liu Kang on his staggers and his gaps and things like that. So it gives a Liu Kang player something to think about. Because every time he goes into a stagger and tries to go into another forward four, he runs the risk of getting full combo for like 30-something percent. Best area seems unfazed by it, though. It's a good cancel there by King Boogeyman. And that's a punish. Ooh, forcing a breakaway. Okay. Oh, wow. Nope. Drops the combo. All right, King Boogeyman looking good here. Can you convert it? Drops it. Nice stand one. Gets the anti air. Sealing the round. Round two. Fight. Oh, nice grab. And the best there is just enforcing his will in the corner. Another grab. You're going to go for three in a row? 
Oh, he tried. <laughs> he sure did. He sure tried. Good anti-air. Nice conversion. And the best there is going with the mercy. Mercy on him. We've seen the mercy fails here on the spotlight, but not today. Oh, <laughs> monks. Epic. Ooh, the empty jump into the forward four. Nice stagger into the grab. What do we got next? Let's see if King Boogeyman can enforce his will here. Forcing a breakaway, but going to get punished. Stuck in those recovery frames. Ooh, nice grab. The best there is, looking solid once again. He loves that flying kick. He's ending everything with flying kick. Play flying kick city out here. Right, here we go, King Boogeyman. Getting some things going. Getting the grab. Offense is looking solid right now. Gonna confirm. Launching. Breakaway city. That's gonna be it. Oh my god! Slice through your chest. Yeah, he must have been loading those up. That was crazy. Good games.